Let's dive into pressure sequencing today. And this is the main cause for a couple of major swing flaws that, that we see out there. One is those that kind of just hang back on the right foot. Obviously, they're not getting the pressure shifted at all. However, those who are sliding are also shifting the pressure too late. So we're gonna use this pressure board here to help you understand when is the correct timing of where the pressure should be going. So as you take the club away, you should absolutely be shifting pressure into your trail leg. And you get about max pressure right around three quarters of the way back somewhere in here. Now, here's the important time. From right here, it, this is when we start shifting our pressure toward the target. So as you complete the backswing, pressure needs to shift from right foot, the trail foot, into your lead foot. Now you're ready to put all kinds of force and pressure into your lead foot to create all the power. Those that are sliding, they wait until they're already got the club up top and then they're trying to slide that pressure over there and they never get it there in time. They're always too late. The hangbackers, they just don't shift it at all. So again, you shift it right in the backswing until about three quarters. Complete the backswing by getting your pressure shifted to the lead foot. Then you're off and running. 